Tune in to the Diva Hustle Show. Hey, you guys. Thanks for tuning in to the Diva Hustle Show. Today, our guest is Renee. She's the CEO from Holistic Group. Thank you, Renee, for joining us. How are you? Good. How are you, Paris? I'm doing fine. So tell me a little bit about your journey into holistic wellness and how did you end up starting your own company? Okay, about 14 years ago, I was going through a divorce after 20 years of marriage. Mm -hmm. And I have three children. They were 17, 15, and 11 at the time. And at the same time, my dad was diagnosed with lung cancer and Mm -hmm. was having left lung removed. And I had moved into a new home with my three children and it flooded out three times in a row. Mm. So it was just the perfect storm. Mm -hmm. And uh, fear affects your kidneys, your bladder, your low back. I wound up with the most horrendous UTI infection, so bad that I had to go to the emergency room. I was in so much pain. And they put me on broad spectrum antibiotics and I hadn't been on those in like 10 years. And I had a terrible reaction and couldn't get through the prescription. Still didn't kick the infection. So they put me on another one, right. another bad reaction, put me on a third one. So it was three weeks of broad spectrum antibiotics. Wow. And it not only killed all the bad guys, it stripped my good guys as well. Right. And I was the sickest I have ever been in my life. Wow. And I just went to one specialist after the other and. Nobody could seem to help me with Western medicine. They just kept saying, you're a stressed out woman going through a divorce. But I'm like, this, this isn't normal. I do not feel good, you know? And I eventually just decided to take my health into my own hands. And I went to the holistic side and they were phenomenal. I found out that I had leaky gut okay. and what's called SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Okay. And then they had protocols and they had me feeling so much better. And during that, it was like a seven year journey trying to get my microbiome back nice and balanced. And I was doing, you know, tons of different diets, supplements, you know, following all the rules and improving. But eventually I thought, you know, I learned so much about gut health and just wanted to help other people so that they couldn't, they didn't have to go through a seven year journey. So I went back to school to Trinity school of natural health. Mm -hmm. And I started and in Trinity, they taught us about emotion code and body code. And I started doing these things on myself. And that was the game changer. When I finally addressed the emotions, that was the one missing piece Right, that right. I didn't address the emotions of the divorce and my dad and you know right so um yeah that's how I got started my hot mess turned into my blessing I, and- I found my passion and I'm just ready to soar with my <laughs> business you know trying to help people and and, that, and see that's the thing as a as a mom and you're going through all this time all this hard heartache heartache and hardship at the same time, you just push through. You never check in with yourself. No, so yeah, you- and I was trying to hide it the whole time from my kids. I didn't want to upset them. So you're going through this thing and you're so lonely. And from the outside, people didn't think anything was wrong, but inside I was just a mess you know oh so how did you so I know your journey so what had what inspired you to focus on the holistic approach and the wellness and the blend of physical mental and spiritual practice and when you started your business I just knew that people needed to know that these modalities were out there like I didn't even realize this whole holistic world and how beneficial it is. And, you know, we're never taught any, any of this stuff. You know, you just, you're, you go to the doctor, you get a pill, you know, and I found out that, you know, I would rather have a better life than a better pill, <laughs> you know? And the emotional part, like I had no clue about the emotional guidance system that we've been blessed with 
Right. And we've never been taught to pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's just fascinating. Like I've been open six years and five of those years, I, during this whole hot mess, I was in the corporate world. I was an AVP in environmental claims okay. for an insurance company. So I had a very stressful job on top of all this thing, stuff going on and going back to school and everything. Um, so, but in this past June, I finally pulled the plug and retired from the corporate world. Okay, and I'm just so excited that now I'm getting to fully concentrate on the holistic business and so helping me, people. I'm sorry. So tell me, what are some of the services that you, that you offer? Okay. I am a certified holistic healthcare practitioner, so I can help you with any kind of physical thing that you're going through, gut health, I can totally help. All disease begins in the gut. Hippocrates mm -hmm. said that 2000 years ago and he was so correct. Mm -hmm. And so any kind of gut issues, autoimmune issues, sleep issues, menopause issues, I mean, you name it, I can help you with. Mm -hmm. Basically any physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual issue because I have the medical training from Trinity, but I also do a number of other energy healing modalities. Okay. I practice a motion code, which um, through kinesiology and muscle testing, I muscle test to see if you have any trapped emotions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we release those trapped emotions. Like uh, all the different emotions that we've felt over our lifetime, they have a frequency and an energy. And if you didn't release those energies, they get trapped in your body and they can be anywhere from the size of a baseball to a grapefruit. Mm -hmm. And you don't even realize it. And it's pressing on different organs and glands. And if you didn't release it and it's, it, it's happening inside you for weeks, months, years, decades, it can eventually lead to sicknesses. And, and you don't even realize that that's going on inside of you all from these emotions. Right. Like hatred affects our heart, anger and resentment affects the liver and gallbladder, fear affects your kidneys, bladder, low back. I have a whole emotion code chart of all the different emotions and the organs and glands that it affects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also people build up a heart wall for protection from all the different traumatic things that have happened in their lifetime. And I work on getting that heart wall down and I witness miracles when I get people's heart walls down. It's just amazing. The yeah. difference, the transformation in them. Yeah. I had a, I had a woman who lost her husband at 40 and two young kids. And she came in and I did an hour of Reiki on her and then a motion code. And she had, a, you know, you could imagine she had a lot of trapped emotions and she had a huge heart wall wow. and we got that down and she had pain in her trapezius muscle for like a year and a half. Okay. And after the whole session, I said, okay, how's the trapezius doing? Totally gone. Wow. In one session, getting that heart wall down, getting her chakras nice and balanced. It was incredible. Right. Cause yeah, I, I know I tried it like yesterday I, I went to you and I was, I was surprised as my level, I guess, and I think I even mentioned it during the session, like my level where my heart wall was, I think it's like 5,000 maybe or something. Five, yeah, 5,000 foot thick. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, my thing is just, I tell people like, you know, I, I've been through it. You're not just selling, you know, your, I, I actually been through and utilize your services. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's a motion code where we went through and we figured out what trapped emotions Paris had. And it, her subconscious even told me what ages the different emotions yeah. happen. And you were able to pinpoint it really quickly, exactly what the things were. Yeah. And body code um, takes it to the 10th power where you can figure out the underlying reason for any physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual thing that's going on with you it's always one of six things it's either an energetic reason 
one ear circuit or systems, a toxin, a pathogen, a structural misalignment, like a chiropractic type of thing, mm -hmm. or nutrition or lifestyle. Right. So your subconscious will take me to one of those six categories. And then there's all kinds of subcategories. It, it's amazing. And it'll get to the underlying reasons. And then I also do Psych K, which helps you with any kind of limiting beliefs you have mm -hmm. or transforming any kind of stressful situation you're going to through into peace. Mm -hmm. within minutes and you experienced that yesterday yeah. <laughs> wasn't that wild how quickly you can like transform these limiting beliefs yeah and the thing is what's what's amazing is that you can go to a psychiatrist and you can spend years and years talking to a psychiatrist or a therapist wherever you prefer and you still might not end up end up at that result if that makes sense Exactly. You, you're just rehashing the problems. Instead, right. in Psych K, we're looking at the issue you have now, what it what it is now, and what do you want it to be? Right. And then we program that in your subconscious, and it's just amazing how quickly yeah. it turns around, and that stress turns to peace. Yeah. Yeah, because I know even yesterday when I left the session. Um, I went to Acme and I was just, you know, I felt lighter. Um, I felt more happier. And, you know, normally I would have like, sometimes I would have fear talking to people I don't even know. And like, I remember we was in the soup aisle and the lady came looking for soup well, and no broth. And I was like, and I told her, I was like, listen, somebody uh, board up all the be uh, bone broth, but it's some chicken broth there. And like she just bust out laughing. And so, <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was the way I said it. And you know, it's just it was just funny. Then I started like noticing. I mean, well, we'll get into that part about the energy part, but then people around the market, like they just it felt like they was just following me, <laughs> just just to follow me to have the laugh, like if that makes sense. Right. Well, they, they're <laughs> seeing your light. You're like a beacon of light now with that heart wall down. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so so tell me what's the what difference your holistic agency from other industry other individuals in your industry um what I like about holistic groove is that I have so many different modalities that I can offer you mm -hmm. um I, I not only have like the medical knowledge but also all the energetic piece. And we are spiritual beings living a temporary human existence in these physical bodies. So we're used to taking care of our physical body, but people aren't used to taking care of their energetic body. Right. right. So, and I have, I can help you with both your right. physical and your energetic body. And I'm also partners with Eddie McClinchy, who is an amazingly gifted Reiki yeah. master. And together we formed Angelic Light Healing. Mm -hmm. So we have other, I have services that Ed and I do together where we do four handed Reiki with people, which is off the charts where your two Reiki masters are working on you at the same time. Mm -hmm. We do holistic happy hours. If you ever want to have something at your home to introduce your friends to Reiki, right. it's a good way to introduce it and it's, it's really fun and then we have this amazing step into your power program mm -hmm. for anyone who is ready for change and ready to step into your power it's a three session program where um, the first session is with Ed and I and we figure out the things that are like holding you back things that you're if you feel stuck in your business or if you're, if you have money issues with your business, like whatever's holding you back, we figure that out in the first visit. The second visit is with me and I work with all my different energetic modalities according to what you, you need. I muscle test. Right. And then the third visit is with Ed again and with, uh, he's excellent with like theta healing and he, he is incredible. He specializes in, uh, 
releasing past traumas. If anyone's had any kind of traumatic things, yeah. he's excellent with that. But between those three sessions, you are going to feel amazing and ready to step into your power. Yeah, you definitely. Yeah, I loved it. And so let's talk about uh, Reiki. I know. Can you explain what Reiki is for people that are unfamiliar with it? Sure. Um, Reiki, Ray, it stands for universal. Key stands for um, energy. So it's universal energy. And it's a Japanese form of energy healing. We have these seven spinning vortexes of energy in us, our seven chakras, and they're all tied in with organs and glands. And when they're nice and open and spinning, everything's great, but so many things throw them off balance. And one of the biggest things is our emotions. Right. So people come in for the first time and they always have a couple different chakras out of balance. Mm -hmm. And what I do, I have a black tourmaline pendant and I go down each one of your chakras. And if it's nice and open, it'll spin. But if it's a chakra that needs work, it'll just stop. Mm -hmm. And then I know that's an area that we need to work on. Mm -hmm. But it's basically, it's pure unconditional love. Mm -hmm. Energy being sent to every cell of your body healing you and energizing you. And, and I, I like to say it's sparking the divine in you and reminding your body how to heal itself again, because right. we all have this life force energy going through us every day. You know, we don't have to think about our heart beating. We have this life force energy right. making us tick, you know, mm -hmm. and, and people have misconceptions about it. Like they think it's, tied to different religions it, it's nothing about religion right. reiki is universal it's mm -hmm. it's open to people of all faiths people who have no faith at all it's open to everyone right. Right. you know and i know like very scientific based people mm -hmm. tend to have a really hard time with it you know they're very science-based but it's now in uh, the top 20 hospitals. Wow. Yeah. So even Western medicine is acknowledging how powerful this modality is, especially yeah. for people dealing with cancer. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I so, saw, I saw an interview on, I think it was uh, Netflix and guy just had surgery. And so they had one of the consultants come in for Reiki and she, she said, well, are you open? You know, we'll do like a th 20, 30 minute session. And I think the next day when she came back, he was just like, oh yeah, like I, I want this service. Like I feel a lot better. I'm able to get up and walk. And, and so I, I think that like some of the misconceptions about Reiki is what people, we all like to discuss, if that makes sense. Like you said, it's not religion based is has been around for centuries to what I understand. Yes, it has. And it, it's for everyone, like of all ages, babies. I do it on pets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pets love it. I do a motion code on pets. Wow. You okay. can't imagine how many trapped emotions our pets have. Wow. Yeah, I do a bunch. I have, I have a friend who's a cat rescuer and I do a motion code on the cat poor cats that she's rescuing. They've been through so much and it's amazing the transformation in these cats. You know, I do it on my dog all the time. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing. And I just had a woman who a couple different doctors told her that she had a lump in her heart. Mm hmm and they didn't know if it was an aneurysm or what it was. They wanted her to have a cardiac MRI immediately that next mm -hmm. week. And someone gave her my card and mm -hmm. she came in and we did an hour of Reiki. I did the emotion code. She had a huge heart wall, mm -hmm. a lot of trapped emotions. And I was explaining to her now, you know, when you want to heal something, the most important thing is that you have to believe that you're going to heal this thing right it's right. ask believe receive right the healing that you want is up at a real high frequency and vibration 
you have to believe that and be up at a high frequency. If you're down in fear, worry and fear and doubt, you're down at one of the lowest frequencies and vibrations. Mm -hmm. So the health you want wants to come through to you, but you're at a different frequency. Did you ever see how like people that have cancer and they keep like a positive attitude mm -hmm keep trying to do things that bring them joy, watch funny movies, they stay optimistic, they yeah. beat it, if yeah. you notice. Yeah. You have to keep your frequency and vibration up. So I told her, you know, that is the most important thing. You have to be up in faith and trust. Mm -hmm. When you're down in worry and fear, you're not summoning the energy that creates worlds and you're at on the wrong radio station for that good healing. Right. And I gave her my, I have all my clients do the 21 day angel experiment. And I had her doing that and she followed everything to a T. She was determined to get rid of that lump in the heart. Mm -hmm. Three weeks later, she had the MRI lump gone, wow. completely gone. Wow. Cause she believed, you know, like the body is miraculous. It, right. it, it can heal itself. We didn't learn about the scab and then teach it to the body. The body knows how to heal. Yeah. Just like it heals a scab on your finger or whatever. It knows how to do that on the inside too. Right. It's just, we have trillions of cells in our body asking the universe every day for whatever they need to create balance. Mm -hmm. And it's us humans that pinch the cells off with our emotions. Right, right, right. But that hour of Reiki, when you're lying there like you did yesterday with like no resistance whatsoever, you're not getting in the way with your emotions. Your cells are so excited. Just going to town, doing their thing, getting the balance back Yeah, without our interference, you know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so let's walk through the process when someone first signs up for Reiki with you, what what are some of the things that they should bring, pre, um, prepare themselves for their first session? Okay, um, I just ask people to just dress comfortably. You're fully clothed. You just take your shoes off. And I just ask that people just come open and curious. Mm -hmm. Just be open. It, it's you you can attest to this. It is not painful. No. <laughs> you, you lay there and just chill. I love when people fall asleep. I know I totally relaxed you. Like it's a slice of heaven. You just lay on the table and relax for an hour and let yourselves do their thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the most thing is just give it a try and be open and curious, and yeah. you'll you'll be amazed. Yeah, because I know like yesterday when you did the Reiki session on me, um, like people don't know I'm recovering from uh, breast reduction surgery. And one of the mis like misconception about the surgery, people was like, oh, well, you're loose filling in your breasts and, and your nipples and things. So I remember like when you got around my breast area and I started feeling this tingling sensation, I was like, yes, yeah, like, thank you. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. That's good. So, but I mean, you know, you like you said, it's about believing, but it it's 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 helpful. You know what I'm saying in your recovery. Like I felt so much better, and that's why I wanted to get you on the show because I feel like this is a discussion about Reiki, holistic. Um, even like during the pandemic, we saw so many doctors walk away from medicine and went into the holistic approach because they saw like. We're pushing, we're, you know, the medicine to just give you a band-aid. Exactly. But the holistic, like you're saying, when you're dealing with the emotion trauma, you're getting to the bottom of what's really causing it, either cancer or stomach issues, or like in your case, you had the GI because you, and you wasn't dealing with the emotional part of all the trauma in your life you was going through. Right. Yeah, so, um, so- yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I was going to say, I wound up losing my gallbladder because of all the anger and resentment that I had in my marriage. And I didn't realize that I was doing that to my gallbladder, you wow. know, because that's wow. the area that it hits, you know. Wow. See, wow. That, and so, so you would have been introduced into 
the holistic approach, you probably would have still had your gallbladder. I would have still had my gallbladder. And anyone out there who is having <laughs> troubles, please come see me before you let them yank it out. Because they tell you, you don't, oh, you don't need your gallbladder. Believe me, God put it there for a reason. And in menopause, you'll find out you really need it. Like it, wow. it yeah, wow. you need it. Um, and, just, and think about like all the women that are going through um, at that age, they have the hysterectomies. And like you're saying, so that is something internal that they can probably emotionally, they, they can deal with and with a session with you, probably don't even have to have a hysterectomy as, you know, that could be like the, in the back burner, they can deal with the emotional part first. Right. I mean, definitely... I would go there first. You know what I mean? Like it cannot hurt you. It's, you see how it, it's relaxing. There's even all the energetic modalities, the psych K and everything. It's nothing painful. You know, I'm just putting you into a whole brain posture. Right. And um, yeah, just, you have to get back to believing in your body. Right. And right. how beautiful and amazing it is yeah. and how your life is your medicine when when different uh physical issues bubble up inside us it's really your body giving you a signal mm -hmm. look there's imbalances going on in the body that you need to address and right. you have to go back to what what were you doing in your life Mm -hmm. that was that caused these imbalances you know are you eating processed foods are you getting enough sleep like when I look back during that time for your period with the divorce I never got the appropriate amount of sleep and when I was in the corporate world I was lucky if I got five hours mm. wasn't getting the sleep wasn't drinking the right amount of water mm. my diet was horrendous it was all carbs and sugar Mm. lived on caffeine like I I wasn't doing any of the natural foundations of health and over time it smacks you, <laughs> you know? wow so when you get to the underlying reasons and you start just doing those basic foundations of health mm -hmm. it's unreal all the different issues in your body that start to go away right right and that and like I said I know I was introduced to Reiki years ago after going through a breakup, um, but I just know I saw the power and significant change in my life. So it was like, this this works. Like you know, what I mean? like this was yeah. working. And so, um, so looking ahead, what are some plans that you have for holistic growth, growth and how um, in the near future? Um, I am so excited with the Step Into Your Power program. We just started this, um, and I just think it is going to help so many people that are stuck. Right. Get them stepping into their power and being, and just soaring like I want to soar right now. And yeah. we're, Ed and I are just trying to get the word out to people, you know, that, all these modalities are available to you and, and you don't realize it. Right. You know, I, I want kids to know I, I had a little boy that came in that was 10 years old and was having tr trouble still like wetting the bed sometimes at 10 and it was getting him so upset. And he came in and he loved the Reiki and I did a motion code on him and he had a trapped emotion of fear and fear affects your black kidneys, bladder, wow. low back. And he was so cute. I said, you have, um, you have a trapped emotion of fear that affected your bladder. And he went, you had me a bladder. And I was cracking <laughs> up and his mom told me like a couple of weeks later, she said he has not had an accident since wow. the reiki and the emotion code and he's so excited wow yeah so that was one visit and this and i love when young people like that come you know because mm -hmm. and and young people seem to be more open to it okay okay you know it's, it's the adults that we've been programmed with western medicine you have to go to the doctor i gotta get your pill because everybody wants the quick fix too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know yeah 
and th and that's the thing. Like with the kids, I feel like even more than ever because they're pushing drugs like kids with ADHD and they're pushing all these medications on kids at a young age. And then, you know, just like you're saying, this holistic approach, let's, let's try it first, before, you know, right down that route first and see how that works. And if it don't, okay, then, you know, we can re-examine. But I feel like to try, at least try the holistic approach first before we give these kids medication. Right. Because a lot of the stuff is your gut. Like right. your, our gut microbiome like 75% of our immune systems in there, 95% of our serotonin, our happiness hormone is made in there. Right. Your melatonin for your sleep is made in there. Your B vitamins are made in there. So when that gut microbiome is off, it throws everything off and you have your gut brain access. So when your gut's off, the brain can go off and that can cause all kinds of issues you know so just healing that gut they'll notice a difference in their focus the brain fog will be gone and one thing i do for my clients i do a hundred panel food sensitivity testing mm -hmm. where i muscle test those hundred foods to see if you're eating something that you have a sensitivity to wow. which so many people are and don't realize it Mm -hmm. And it's causing inflammation in the body. Wow. And like you may have sensitivity to lectins that are in foods, oxalates that are in foods. That was happening to me. Mm -hmm. A lot of the plant, uh, plant foods have like a protective thing in the plant to protect them. And it can form oxalates inside our bodies, which are these little crystals that form kidney stones. Right. And we, th we only think of it as in kidney stones, but those little crystals can go anywhere in your body. Mm -hmm. And that's what was happening to me because, be, because I don't have a gallbladder, my magnesium and calcium is jumping over to help me digest my fats mm -hmm. and magnesium and calcium are the minerals that help. They bind to these oxalates and get them out of your body. Okay. So I needed like extra magnesium because it was trying to help my gallbladder and get these oxalates out. Right. And when I was going through my journey, the healing journey, I was doing smoothies every morning with spinach, kale, all this healthy stuff. And I was getting sicker and sicker and sick. And I'm like, what the heck? Like I cannot eat any healthier. Right. Well, then I find out spinach is off the charts with oxalates. Wow. I was just loading myself up with oxalates. And then I had a candida yeast overgrowth as, as part of my gut issues. Okay. And candida yeast, one of the byproducts they leave off are oxalates. So they were forming oxalates. I was loading my body up with oxalates with spinach. And I was just on overload with them. Wow. And I like, discovered all that on my own because western medicine wasn't helping me and i started doing all this research and i started ordering my own tests mm -hmm. and i did this organic acids test urine test and it showed all kinds of things that were going on in the gut and i saw this oxalates were off the chart mm -hmm. i was like okay and i start researching that so i just have i've I learned so many things that i can help you with and just that one hundred panel food sensitivity to staying away from those foods mm -hmm. for 30 days. It helps get your microbiome back in balance. Wow. And you'll start feeling way better. That is so great. And so that's something you, simple, you know. I know. And that's and that's the thing, because I know I just did a a body thing and it was saying like I do better. I, I'm not one of those people that have to eat three meals a day. I have to fast. Fasting okay. from my body part, but like you're saying, just knowing what you can eat and what you can't eat, it also it helps with your clarity, your focus, your energy level. So yeah, I definitely recommend people to uh, come to you and get the test done. Yeah, yeah, and even like I'm amazed with the psyche. It like it, it's addressing limiting beliefs, but in addressing those, 
it can also heal physical issues. Like I've seen acne clear when you help someone with self-esteem issues, all of a sudden their face clears. Okay. okay. And I just did an advanced uh, psych K workshop. And one of the guys in my class had a lot of fear. He had low back pain for two years. Wow. And in the workshop, he worked on a lot of fears from his divorce and he had a lot of parental alienation things going on in the divorce and walked out of that workshop with no low back pain after two years of having it dealing with fear because fear affects your low back. Right, right. Wow, that is amazing. So Renee, if people wanted to get in contact with you to schedule a session, um, what's the best way um, that they can get in contact with you? Um, you can um, email me at renee at holisticgroove.com. Okay. And my website is www.holisticgroove.com. And my other website is www.angeliclighthealingllc.com. Okay. So you can go on either one of those sites and there's a way to contact. You just fill out a sheet and it'll come to me and I'll call you and we'll set something up. And I'm also on Instagram under Holistic Groove tiktok and i have a youtube channel with like tons of holistic videos mm -hmm. if your audience is interested and that is holistic groove dash renee lennox chhp okay and they can check out my videos um yeah but and i'm available day evening and weekends i work with people's schedules because i know how hard it is when people work so yeah. you can come in the evening or weekends Mm -hmm. And yeah, so um, I'd like to thank you for stopping past this morning to talk about your business and Reiki and definitely would love for you to come back, um, especially talk about uh, energy. I think we talked about this yesterday. You were doing the course uh, for the energy, releasing negative energy, how to uh, balance yourself. So Definitely welcome to come back to talk about the chorus and to give our viewers some tips on how to protect our energy and protect their other people's energy as well. Yeah, so I would love to. That'd be great. All right. Well, thanks again for stopping past. Thank you. All right. Tune in to the Diva hot job, motivate the glow. We get your mouth and fall. Think to my head and talk. I let the whole world know. I let the whole world know.